views of you and some of the former child stars and talking about working with Robin Williams. Mm. But then I kind of, I had this question in my head, I just want to ask like, if you had a particular favorite memory of working with Robin and or with Spielberg. Mm. So many, I mean, rest in peace Robin Williams. Mm. He's just a magical, magical guy. And uh, I would show my, I would show up to the set on my days off because I mean, you're working with Spielberg, you're working with Robin Williams, you're working with Justin Hoffman. I mean, these guys are, I mean, they're no less than gods. Mm. You know, they're like god tier people. Um, I, I tell you guys as creatives, like, if you ever have the good fortune to be in the company of the greatness, um, you gotta show up. Just show up. I'm literally my days off. I'm going to the set and I'm just sitting by the camera, day off, to just see. I mean, Robin Williams improv was probably you know the, the greatest improv actor ever. You got Dustin Hoffman, who's on the Mount Rushmore character actors in the '70s that changed Hollywood forever, became leading men with Pacino, Nicholson, and then you got. Probably, you know, arguably one of the greatest act directors of our time, of his time, Steven Spielberg, the height of his powers. And it's like, to be on the set to watch these guys work is like having the good fortune to be in the room and see Picasso paint a stroke or to see Mozart conduct a symphony. Like, that's, what, that's what we're talking about, right? And so I'm there and I'm watching them. And it's so, it's just amazing. I mean, after a while, like, Steven's telling me how he's directing and what lenses he's choosing and why he's moving the camera the way he is and just interacting with, with, with Hoffman in character because Hoffman's a method actor and he's staying as Captain Hook the whole time but he's still talking to me and like being Captain Hook to Rufio the whole time. <laughs> it's crazy. And then, um, you know, with Robin, it's like, I love Dead Poe Society. Yeah. I still love Dead Poe Society, yes. And yes, oh Captain, my Captain. And um, we would spend our mornings just talking about poetry. The crazy thing is me and my brothers are all actors and my whole crew, uh, we, we're like from the neighborhoods, like we're like from Com like the Compton area in LA, but we're like, it's from the hood, but we created our own Dead Poets Society. And it was an address where we all met called 13607 and a half. And we would write poems, and we'd write rap songs. And I was telling Robin about this, and he was like, what, this is crazy. So the whole crew came to the set one day to meet him. And we took this picture, and we got him a hat, and we made a Compton indoor swap meet. And it's, uh, it was the name of our crew, 13607 and a half, and underneath it, it said, oh, Captain, my Captain. And there's a picture of us all with the crew and Robin. And then, you know, Robin passes away, but right before COVID, I ran into his daughter, Zelda, at a bar, and we're like, oh my god, I haven't seen her since she was very young. And we were talking, and we're like, we didn't get coffee, and then COVID hit, and then she texts me in the middle of COVID, and she's like, hey, I was looking through my dad's stuff, and you know, I was just always cleaning some things up, and look what I found. And she sent me a picture of the hat. Mm. So, 